two high-speed trains collided in Wenzhou, just south of Shanghai, in, in July of 2011. And uh, I went back, there's a website, this is what I have up here. This website, one year later, went back and tried to reconstruct the story of the Wenzhou uh, train crash. And the reason this is interesting is it gives us a blow-by-blow -blow of what we were able to know and when we were able to know it. I'll just put this up. If I can do that here. Yeah, what you can see, it's a little hard to read from where you are, but the, the, the most important thing is what you can see here is that the first reports about what, what uh, the first reports about what happened on the train did not come out from Xinhua, it came out from people on the train. Now that might, that might not be that unusual here because we're used to that here where people with you know, cell phones are doing things. This was fascinating. And it was basically an hour before we got any official word that anything had happened. And some of these were reading things like, you know, we're in the train, um, the first train had a bad accident in Wenzhou, the train did an emergency brake followed by a violent crash, there were two more collisions, the electricity across the entire, entire train has gone out, I'm in the last carriage, thank God I'm fine, this is too terrifying. That went out at uh, 8.38, four minutes after the accident. Uh, the next message here that went out at uh, 8.47, that's 13 minutes after the accident, that's the one at the bottom, it says a cry for help, Train D301 has been derailed not far from Wenzhou Station. Children are crying up and down the carriage, and not one member of the staff has come to help. Hurry, hurry, and save us. Hurry up and save us. So, you know, this goes on and on. I don't need to read all of these, but it's absolutely fascinating chronology. And it was a very, very, very long time before Xinhua, the official news agency, actually came out and even put out a bulletin saying a train had crashed. And this went on later. Uh, we can talk about it later if you're interested. Uh, there were allegations of a cover-up, but you know, th this was, a, to me, the first example of how the citizens were out reporting something that the officials did not necessarily want reported.